that. Yeah, so we are going to just look at those standards and try to relate them to this here again. Uh, just make sure that we actually understand how do we plan to implement them throughout this year. You know, uh, because we, we have to keep that in mind in everything that we do, uh, always remembering, you know, why we are here, how are we supposed to carry ourselves while we are here at Morocco, that, that's what I mean. So um, I, I just want us to have a discussion again, a sort of a refresher discussion about the standards, Morocco 5 standards. So uh, anyone should feel free to just come in and, and give us their own understanding of these uh, different standards and, and how they think they are going to keep implementing them throughout this year to make uh, you know, to serve our clients better, to just keep our clients satisfied, even much more, you know, better than last year. So uh, it's just a sort of a refresher for all of us. So anyone uh, is, is welcome to start and just, you can talk about one, you don't have to speak on all the standards. You can just choose one and just, you just try to tell us what you think uh, that standard is going to look like for you throughout this year. So yes, um, maybe I'm just going to help uh, those who have no direct access to these standards. I'm just going to copy them and paste them under the chat. But in the meantime, someone uh, should, anyone should feel free to just, you know, start on this discussion. Yeah, thank you. Okay, um, I'll start. So good morning, everyone. So good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. So for me, I'll start with um the the one of the, the standards that said um work with one goal and vision. I believe uh, each and every one of us here, um we are we are working um as a team, and most importantly, our mission and goal should be purely the the most way. So uh. If our vision say that um we we need to work or the standard that which we are operating up and with say we need to work with one goal and um and vision, I believe every one of us here should adhere to it because um it's a principle, and uh, if we want to work through the Milky Way, these are the only these are the only standards or this is the only way we can be able to be productive, and this is the only way we can be able to achieve the um our desired outcome because mostly what is very very important um if we if we are working as a team because all of this is all and the, working with one vision and one goal is all about teamwork because if the the whole team is not working accordingly or, or everyone has his or her own view or opinion about certain things yeah it's fine yeah, it's very nice. But is that the most way? Is that a vision in which um is that how we can be able to do the work through the Moracle way? That is that is why it's very, very important for us to understand um for us to understand the the the, the goals and the vision of the company. So it's very, very, very important. So for me, this is my own take on this. Thank you. Thank you so much, Noah, for that. Thank you for opening the floor with that important uh, standard, of course, uh, reminding us that we are all working towards one vision, one goal as a, a Morocco team. So we need to understand that we are all here. It's a team, so it's teamwork. And we should have one vision in mind that we are all working towards. Uh, towards. Uh, and this will help us to always have a direction and understanding, you know, be on the same page of understanding about what we are working uh, towards or what it is we, we want to achieve. So the first standard, of course, uh, addresses that uh, very well. So thank you so much, Noah, for that. And um, I, I could just go ahead and talk about the second one before we can proceed. And um, here I'm talking about treating everyone with uh, respect. And so I would just like to emphasize this again because we understand that we are in a very um should i say uh people to people person to person social environment we are dealing with people yes we are 
In an accounting firm, uh, we are dealing with numbers mostly uh, apart from the non-accounting aspect of our work. But again, we are dealing with people and, and a very sensitive uh, you know, uh, sector where we are dealing with people's money. So this is something that is very dear and very close to these people. Very sensitive that it's going to really affect and touch their emotions. And most times people are going to be very sensitive about, uh, you know, in every at every level of, of the work that we do because they want to be sure that you're actually protecting their resources, you're actually protecting it and protecting, protecting their company. So we are going to deal with many people with different personalities and different emotions. And so it is very important for us to re remember always to treat everyone with respect, you know, just uh, respect every individual as they are, regardless of how different or how complex they could appear to you, you know. You may not really know how to deal with them. You might not understand their personality because, of course, they're probably from, of course, they're most probably going to be from a different uh, culture or, or, you know, uh, area or with different, you know, traditions or just ways they carry themselves, how they understand things, how they talk, how they refer to things. So, uh, it's going to be very paramount for you as a person, for me as a person, to remember that, first of all, not just this, uh, this is not just a client, yeah, but this is also a, a human being, yeah, who is just different from me. So the first thing for me, again, to remember is to first treat them with that respect that they deserve just for being another human being who is simply different from me. So it, it's very important. And, and it, of course, it's not just about these clients, even... At, Ourselves, among ourselves as a team, we, we are also different, of course. We might come from the same town, from the same country, but we are still different individual uh, individuals. So we need to just keep that in mind every time, yeah? Just be respectful with whatever or whoever you are, you know, you are, you are associated with uh, all along the work that you're doing. So I, that's what I wanted to talk about. That's the stand, second standard. Uh, Morocco standard I wanted us uh, I wanted to also contribute about and I will welcome anyone else to proceed and give us their understanding yeah thank you hi morning everyone good morning uh, so good. yeah uh, actually I wanted to talk about uh, the second standard too but since you uh, covered uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah respect is uh, one of the things that is really important for me and I think it's uh, a, an, uh, a crucial uh, a standard in a workplace between employees and employees and uh, uh, customers. It's, it's really important. But uh, I, um, the third standard, which is uh, always uh, recreating ourselves, always improve ourselves and our products, is one of the things that's uh, really uh, important and interesting for me uh, as well. I think it's uh, being, always being update and trying to uh, learn about different uh, trends that uh, that come to business. Uh, I don't know, technological advancement that stands uh, in this uh, day and age. It's important that you always update yourself, and especially now, now that you know everything is moving fast, and uh, there's always a new technology, a new trend, and uh, you know some skills that you don't have. And it, I think that's uh, one of the important things, and it's good that it is in our uh, company's standard because uh, I think uh, when uh, every you know, when you, uh, work, uh, it's my opinion that when you work from there, uh, no matter where, it's in, and then while you have a professional uh, way for yourself, uh, you know, in uh, your work, it's important that uh, you think about your personal uh, development, your personal growth. And uh, I think this standard helps you to uh, think about yourself and improve yourself because it's something not only for uh, you know the company and the job that you are doing it's also for yourself and for yourself uh, development is important when you always 
update yourself, update your uh, skills. It's a uh, it it kind of have a, a self reflection for you, and uh, it helps you to be a, a productive, a more productive person, a more active person, and it helps for uh, yourself. Uh, not, not only and the company and the job that you're doing and also then uh, you know you always try to uh, recreate yourself and uh, try to update your skills uh, I think it makes it an environment that uh, every employee can uh, develop and uh, help each other I think uh, it uh, encourages everyone to uh, embrace I don't know new learning opportunity new ideas and the mindset that is uh, you know it gives you I think confidence and then uh, you have confidence you can uh, do your job better you can uh, come up with new ideas and also help your uh, colleagues and uh, you know because because of the confidence that you know that you are up there you know that uh, you you can do better now that you have I don't know another skill added to your skill so I think it, uh, this uh, standard is uh, really important and it comes and uh, yeah I, as I said I believe it that uh, when when you work somewhere you have to gain something for yourself and this one I think uh, can help you. Uh, develop and uh, you know not just be in a uh, same place that, that you were for example one year uh, ago you are uh, a better person you have more skills and uh, you are more effective and productive yeah that's what I wanted to share about the service for me. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, I would, uh, I would like to talk about the FIT uh, standard, which is about uh, allowing challenges to stretch us and to be more today than we were yesterday. I think it is very common for us to uh, stay in our um, comfort zones and not want to leave our comfort zones. But I think if just as you were saying, Sapita, if we want to improve ourselves, if we want to do better than what we did yesterday, then we obviously uh, have to find different ways and keep up with the trends and keep up with the improvements that have been done in our area of work. And um, I also think that even in the workplace, we can uh, improve ourselves, whether it, we use a, co a collaborative uh, measure, or maybe a competitive measure. It could be, uh, I think, though we, we can use a competitive measure, but it can be, uh, I would say, a positive one, where in, uh, we motivate each other, as in we push it, each other and cover up for each other's uh, weaknesses and strength and I think that is very important you know in an organization because in situations where in one cannot uh, one cannot uh, maybe perform or perform properly in a day you, just because that person can perform in that day maybe due to personal or emotional uh, things but if they're if there's someone that he or she can rely on, and if there's someone that can step in for that person, then the work will not be delayed or the work or the service that will be rendered on that particular day will not affect the organization or the client negatively because whenever one employee or one person lacks, another person steps in and be the strength for that person. So I think having that uh, supportive measure is also also helps us to allow challenges because if you know that even if I make a mistake, uh, somebody is going to be there that would help me through, that will guide me through, or that will motivate me to get back up and do more and push more, you know, then 
even if you try and fail, you will still have that strength and motivation to challenge yourself more and get up and try again. So I think having that supportive measure, uh, having that collaborative and also competitive uh, tactic in the organization is also very important in uh, challenging and in growing ourselves. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Jessica, for that. Um, this just reminds us again of how we we somehow complement each other, like uh, in a team where you help and, and be able to, you know, continue uh, with our work and still perform as expected. I want to invite anyone else who would like to contribute to our discussion. Feel free. You're welcome. in the conventional way like uh, like uh, we are some organization do their work as uh, they used to do in the past but we should keep up to date with the technology to make our work more effective and you know improve our performance okay Mohammed, uh, thank you for that and and of course that's a very important point to to bring forth yeah because of course there's there's a lot of development happening, a lot of technological developments yeah. to be precise. So we cannot keep using the old ways, you know, the traditional yes. ways, if we really That's want to remain uh, competitive and, you know, at the top of the game in the market. So it becomes really important for us to always yes. be flexible and ready to. Which topic I don't know. Like <laughs> I want to continue with number four itself. Mm -hmm. So better better ways of thinking to improve our services and performance. Mm -hmm. So I was just wanted to add uh, with uh, what Mohammed said. Like as uh, today's uh, in as now, as of now technology is, is very high and competition is also very high. So to um, we need to work for the betterment of the company. For that uh, we need to learn every day and we need to think in a better way and we need to think that how we are today and how we are going to be tomorrow so we like actually uh, the way of uh, the way of thinking of an employee uh, today is the uh, main thing in the company so uh, when we think better uh, the company is going to be the better way so actually uh, we need to improve daily and uh, we need to get up, up, updated uh, yeah, day, on a daily basis. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, thank you for that. Yes. I yeah, think, even, yeah. Actually, I, I will also improve uh, as I'm new to this company. So I'll definitely improve. And in coming days, I'll give more and more. Uh, that's a good, that's yeah, a good yeah. thing to note. Thank you for that. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So thank I think, so uh, yeah, as you have said, uh, as an employee, you have to always think about ways to improve just make things better every day of course we are looking we are here today but sorry <clears throat> we are here today but uh we, we keep rem reminding ourselves that we are moving towards something in the future so whatever we are working on however we are doing it today how do we 
keep thinking of making it better for tomorrow? How do we make sure that tomorrow is better than today? Because we, we shouldn't always be so uh, comfortable in our box, you know, like being comfortable with the actual, the normal ways of doing things, how we do it every day. But we should keep thinking about how to improve, not just the work or even yourself personally. How do you keep thinking of ways to become better and to make things be better in, in the same process? So, yeah, thank you for that. Um, is there anyone else who'd like to add to our discussion this morning? Uh, so I think uh, that means we are all fine. I don't know if anyone spoke on uh, number five standard. I was off a little bit, so I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I spoke about okay. it. Ah, okay, okay. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for that. Um, so I, I think that means we are all good with today's discussion. But um, most importantly, I just want us to keep these standards in mind. They really, uh, they form some some of the basic um basic foundations really uh, that guide us here at Morocco, you know, on our in our everyday uh, work. So it's just another reminder as we are starting the year to just keep these things in mind in addition to the vision and mission that we have so that we may always, always, always uh, work uh, in respect of them because this will guide us, this actually guide us in, in whatever we do, in everything we do, they will help us to know how to conduct ourselves, how to behave when facing a certain uh, situation. So thank you for your contribution, all of you. Thank you for your attention as well and for making uh, time to be here uh, for with us all this morning. Uh, I think uh, we are going to end our discussion there for today. But before we move,